Akshi Gupta, working uh, with Cloud9 Hospital Faridabad as an associate director here. So uh, today I would like to talk about cancer cervix, which is the most common cancer occurring in Indian females and it is one of the leading cause of death among uh, those females. So it's a very depressing fact that we lose almost 1 lakh females in India due to gynecological cancers. And by gynecological cancers, I mean the cancer of cervix, uterus, vagina, ovaries. But especially the, more, uh, the most emphasis which I am putting here today is on cancer cervix because it is the topmost cause of death among Indian females and 1 lakh cases are reported each year out of which we lose 60,000 females every year due to cancer cervix alone. So the incidence is very very high. So we can understand by this situation that if this female with cancer cervix would have reported to us earlier, we would have saved her life. If she were aware of her sign and symptoms, if she were aware of the facilities that the screening programs also exist, vaccination is also available against this deadly cancer, then we would have been able to save her life. And as we all know that health of a female is the center of any family around which the health of whole family revolves. So it is very important for us to make any female aware of all the screening programs available today. So let's know what exactly is cancer cervix. So this is the cancer which arises from uh, mouth of the uterus in uh, layman's language that it arises from the mouth of the uterus. So it occurs basically between the 35 to 50 years of females. It is caused by HPV virus that is human papilloma virus and it is transmitted via sexual intercourse. So uh, why uh, this virus etiology is important? This is the only cancer till date against which we have devised a vaccination program. And ideal, uh, this vaccination is either Gardasil or Cervarix. So ideal to give this vaccination is uh, before resuming sexual intercourse. So it is, it can be given from 9 years to 45 years of age and it prevents almost 70 to 90 percent of cases of cancer cervix. But it doesn't mean if somebody is vaccinated that now she need not undergo a screening program. Screening is then also required if somebody is vaccinated. So what are the main signs and symptoms which are, uh, which are there when if somebody is having CA cervix? So most common symptoms are if somebody is having irregular bleeding or spotting in between two periods and if somebody is having bleeding after sexual intercourse known as postcoital bleeding and if somebody is having foul smelling discharge for a longer period of time if it is persistent for a longer period of time. So these three are the cardinal symptoms which are uh, early symptoms of cancer cervix. So if anybody is experiencing these symptoms then she should report to the doctor immediately. And in later stages we might come across weight loss, anorexia, loss of appetite, then uh, few urinary symptoms but by that time we are already very late. Okay, so uh, if uh, now, we, now we'll talk about the screening program. So it is a pap smear which is the mo very simple and uh, very easy test to perform. So everybody should be aware of pap smear. It is basically a simple test in which from the mouth of the uterus by a brush we take a, a sample and then on a, we put it on a slide and we just see whether if some uh, pre-cancer changes are uh, there or if early cancer is there then it can detect even that also. So this pap smear is a very simple and effective test which can be done on OPD basis. So recommendations for pap smear are that every, after 21 years of age if the female is sexually active then 
pap smear can be done every 3 years if it is coming normal and if we are going to combine it with a hpv dna testing which is more specific for cancer cervix then if it is combined with pap smear then every 5 years it can be done till 65 years of age so i would suggest everybody everybody each of the female to undergo pap smear and i wish that every female should be aware of the sign and symptoms of cancer cervix she should be aware about the screening programs so that her life can be saved thank you